Hello, my name is Florian. I'm a qualified and experienced fitness trainer and online coach. I'm the founder of the online coaching service qualitygains.com and I'm managing a fitness club with over 1,000 regular members. I'm also a freaking contributor here at lifehack.org. It wasn't long ago when I drank multiple protein shakes a day. My diet was structured around chicken breasts and rice. In the fitness center I manage, I meet people every day that do the same. They expect protein to be directly converted to muscle, yet the effectiveness of excessive protein intake has never been proven. I can prove this to you by using simple math. Your muscles don't fully consist of protein. 80% of your muscles is water, which leaves only 20% of your muscles to protein structures. And you don't build up more than 5 kilograms of muscles a year if you're a natural athlete. For those of you that are saying now, I know a friend that has gained more than 10 kilograms of muscles in a year. There are three possibilities. 1. Your friend is lying about the pounds or exaggerating. 2. Your friend is on steroids. 3. Or the most likely part that the majority of these 10 kilos is simply fat. After a year of training in the gym, I already look pretty massive, yet I've never gained more than 5 kilograms in a single year. But let's not lose sight of the math. If you're gaining 5 kilograms a year, and 5 kilograms at best, this equals to about 1 kilogram of protein that you would need for that muscle growth. If you divide that 1 kilogram of pr protein through 365, which is the amount of days in a year, you will only get a few grams per day. This is a one digit figure. Hence, there is no need for 10 protein shakes a day, which would leave you with up to 100 grams of extra protein a day. All the excessive protein from the shakes will be converted to fat and stored in fat cells. Having said that, you're far more likely to suffer from protein excess than deficiency. If you eat sufficient calories, you will not be protein deficient. I consume about 1.3 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight in a single day. And this might even be too much, scientifically speaking. Some people may even need less, like 0.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight in a day. Experienced athletes may even need less than that, as their body is better able to make use of the protein they actually consume. Once I've made that switch to a low protein diet, I've experienced less fat fatigue and had more energy in my professional and personal life. And yes, protein can actually do more harm than good. There's a guy training in the fitness center that I manage. He's a really friendly and down-to-earth guy. Unfortunately, he also suffers from severe and life-threatening kidney problems. I recently had a talk with him about his nutrition schedule. I advised him to cut back on his protein shakes and on his animal protein intake. But he refused my advice. He told me that his doctors believe that diet doesn't matter in disease prevention and treatment. Some weeks later, after our talk, he told me about his holidays with his family. He needed to cancel them at the last minute because he was suffering from intense stomach pains. Yet again. He had to undergo operation the same day and, and it was his second alarming operation within the year. Excessive protein intake is not only not beneficial when you're trying to achieve your fitness results, it can also be harmful. If you're drinking a protein shake every single day, ask yourself, is this working? If not, you have to change something. Consume a plant-based protein shake if you like the taste of it. If not, save the money, throw away the beverage and consume something that actually works, not steroids. Don't structure your diet solely around protein. Trust me, I was the guy eating low-fat quark at 5 a.m. in the morning after going out to preserve my muscles. It wasn't worth it. Realize that supplement companies are marketing companies. Few supplements actually work. Instead, eat a healthy, wholesome and balanced diet. Minimize animal products and increase vegetables and fruits in your diet which means minimize your protein intake and increase the intake of your micronutrients 
and fiber, which most people truly have a deficiency in. To read more of my articles on fitness and diet, you can visit my profile on lifehack.org.